What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're looking at this 2020 pre-owned Grand Design Reflection 320 MKS that we just got in. Pretty excited to look at this because it has a really cool desk or office space in your living area that I think is really functional for whether people are full-timing or just looking to have an additional workspace while they're on the road traveling or anything like that. So it's a pretty cool floor plan. I know there's a lot of big Grand Design fans out there as well. so can get you a great deal being that this is a 2020 model with really hardly any wear and tear on it and i'll have the price down below in the description but contact me my number will be up at the top of the screen here in just a second for you to contact me and let me get you a great deal on this thing if this is something that you think you'd be interested in so let's go take a look at it what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i am super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you get something out of it or enjoy the video consider hitting the like button down below and definitely the subscribe button become a part of this growing community of rvers all around the world and then if you would like to connect with me on other social media sites links to my instagram tiktok and facebook will be down in the description below I have a pretty ambitious goal to get a one minute video on TikTok and Instagram of every single RV on our lot, new and used within the next four to six weeks. So head over there to see some trailers that don't make it here onto YouTube. And then finally, if you are interested in this grand design that we're looking at today or any other RV and would like for me to be involved in the process of helping you find your next RV and finding you your next RV home, I would love to be a part of that process. So text me at the number above and I would love to help you out. So again, this is a 2020 Grand Design Reflection 320 MKS. Has a mid-kitchen, mid-living sort of arrangement here and a desk space as well. So it's going to be a great couples coach option or you know, family that may have one or two kids that they can sleep in the living room, something like that. But it's a good size fifth wheel, pretty easy size to manage being that it's about 34 and a half feet long and only weighs about 10,500 pounds. It is a mid profile fifth wheel, um, but still has plenty of great size. So it feels really comfortable, feels really quality. And it is a very just nice feeling fifth wheel, I guess you could say, um, inside and out. It has a really good look to it. Um, a lot of 2020 models definitely don't look as good as this one does as far as just the design concepts and whatnot inside and out. So I think that being a 2020, you can get a really good deal on a fifth wheel that still looks modern and doesn't look like it was built in like the early 2000s like a lot of other 2020 models did for some other brands. But looking at the pass-through storage compartment, you have a really large size pass-through storage. This is actually pretty dang big for a mid-profile fifth wheel. So a really good size space that you have in there and then you are gonna have heat running into this compartment as well. So you can see that there. And you have a nice little leash holder, which I think is really convenient. Um, I know one thing that my family is always trying to figure out while we're out camping is where we're putting all the dog leashes because we usually camp with like three or four dogs. So that is nice that you have the leash holders there as well. And then you have this nice little drop down compartment here with an opening so you can run um, hoses or whatever you want through there as well. Plus you have an outlet on this side and looks like, yeah, that'll be your main outlet in here right there. And you have your battery disconnect right in here so you can easily access that. You also have lights on both sides as well. So you have a light over there and a light here. So you'll have lighting on both sides for that. And then inside this compartment, gonna be one of your two 30 pound propane bottles. So you'll have that located in there. The other one will be on the other side. You're gonna have two awnings. So you'll have one over your entire area right here and then one on the slide out. So the majority or pretty much the entirety of your fifth wheel on your campsite is gonna have awning coverage on it. And then coming this way, you're going to have spot for a TV outside. So TV mount and TV hookups right there. And then your outdoor kitchen where you'll have a two burner cooktop. This is going to collapse and fold in or slide in, I should say. So it'll collapse like that slide in and then you'll have this space as your designated outdoor kitchen refrigerator right there just a regular dorm style refrigerator this is also where your kitchen is located so you're probably wondering like why do you not have storage here or something like that but your kitchen is on the other side of this so your kitchen storage and kitchen appliances are taking up that space um you have your power usb connections there and an outlet 
back there where the refrigerator is plugged in the lighting is pretty crazy there you go you can kind of see it back there i know it's not focusing but you have your outlet back there as well um underneath here i want to point out real quick that the uh the um reflection comes with the goodyear endurance american-made tires so you will have those goodyear tires on here and then we'll go around to the back um, also point out you have your outdoor speakers out here as well um, forgot to point those out while we were looking on this side so you have your outdoor speakers we'll come around to the other side on the back here you're going to have your ladder to get up onto the roof this unit does have two acs on it so you can see up there two acs and then look at how big this window is right here you get a big window right there for a lot of natural light coming in that's where your dinette table is sitting at and then as far as um, back here on your hitch, it is a towing hitch. So you do have a 3,000 pound towing capacity on this hitch right here. So you can tow something like a boat or a trailer or anything like that behind here on this hitch. You also have a spray port back here so you can hook a hose up to this and get pressurized water coming out of that spray port. And then coming along to this side, oh, real quick, one other thing, you do have backup camera prep as well, so you will be able to put a backup camera on there. You're gonna have a gray tank dump valve here. This is gonna be for your kitchen, since this is a rear kitchen model. Your gray tank is going to dump right here, and then you'll have another dump tank valve or slot right over here, where your bathroom, your black and gray tank for your bathroom will dump out of that spot right there. You also have a nice sewer hose, storage compartment, and then looking underneath, you can see everything is all wrapped and insulated underneath here. So you have an underbelly that is heated. And then you can see all of your spots like this right here have that um, expanding foam that is gonna prevent things from little critters being able to run up in those areas of the trailer as well. So you have all of that protection underneath there. This is your largest slide out on the fifth wheel. So this slide out has a rack and pin style slide. So you'll see it goes in on the rack and pin style slide out mechanism there. And then your smaller slide outs are going to have the Swintec slide boxes on them. And this is gonna be your bedroom slide where your bed is located. And this side of your storage compartment, it's pretty interesting how this opens up. You have magne a magnet latch, first of all. So this swings open like that, has a magnet latch. And then this closes like that. And then this would close down over the top of that. So it's kind of nice, it gives you one individual storage compartment door to get access to your water hookups here. And then you have a really nice organized area here for all of your water hookups. It tells you how to set up everything for what you're trying to do. And hopefully this wind isn't getting too crazy, but you do have an outlet underneath here as well. And then your pull levers for your black and gray tanks. Um, finally, you have a lipper control underneath here this is pretty cool having the touchscreen control panel outside so you'll be able to control things like your lighting and all that stuff from out here outside of your rv so pretty nice to have that there that's something that's pretty unique also your 50 amp plug is going to be right here i do have this plugged into power so that's where your 50 amp plug will be at and your other 30 pound propane bottle that you have here coming to the front this is all just going to be storage and battery compartment placement inside here you have a light inside there that i just turned on so you're going to have just a storage compartment in here and access for your batteries to be placed and then you're going to have your auto leveling controls right here as well so it does have auto leveling it is a four point electric auto leveling so you can see these two stabilizer legs there and then you'll have two more behind the axles for the stabilizing portion or the leveling portion of this fifth wheel and it will have the auto leveling on it a good looking front cap it's going to come with just a standard pin box so if you did want to upgrade that that is something that you can change out but it is just a standard pin box that it comes with and you do have a nice docking light up here so you have this light shining down onto your setup area so if you are setting up in darker conditions you will be able to see what you're doing and that's just about everything on the outside. So let's take a look on the inside and see what this floor plan has to offer. As we head inside, I wanna point out that we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World of Dallas and all of our Holiday World stores. 
And the reason I wanna point this out is because whether you buy a new RV from us or a used RV from us, every one of our customers automatically becomes a member in this Priority RV Network. And what that is, is if you look at this map here on the screen, there's about 130 different dealerships that are part of this network. And all 130 of these dealerships will offer every one of its members front of the line service. Whenever you are traveling on the road and you're more than 100 miles away from your home, if you have any sort of major issue that goes wrong with your RV, so things like uh, AC not working in the middle of summer, refrigerator not working, uh, furnace not working, major water leak, anything like that, any one of these 130 different locations across the United States will not only get you in their service department, but they will get you in the front of the line at their service department and do everything in their power to get you back on the road and back on your trip as quickly as possible. So that is a huge benefit that we have to offer our customers here that is not something you can buy into. The only way you become a member in this program is to purchase from a dealership that is a part of the Priority RV Network, which we are. So big thing that we have to offer whether you buy a new or a used RV from us here at Holiday World. As we go inside, really nice open floor plan. And it has its own nice little touch to it. Um, this all looks, this all is stuff that, you know, I've seen before, but what is really different about this floor plan, one, you have the kitchen or the refrigerator in the back corner there, which just gives you so much kitchen countertop space here. It's pretty remarkable how much countertop space you have. And then you have this desk space back here that just seems so functional for whatever you may want to use it for. I mean, this could be used for so many different things. Some people may just use this as a coffee bar area. They may use it for like a food prep or serving station. And some people may use it as an office setup. So I could just see so many uses for what this countertop space has to offer. And I like that they laid it out in a desk format. So no matter what you want to do, you can use it for that purpose. Um, so I think that's really cool that they did that in this floor plan. Um, something that's a little bit more unique that you don't typically see that I think is really neat. And then you have your dinette table here. Um, it comes with an additional chair as well, which I thought was pretty interesting because really it only needs the two chairs, but you have three. So, and this one folds up so as well as this one. So you can fold those up and put those wherever you want if you don't feel the need for them. But it does have those two additional chairs there. You're going to have the um, blackout shades, the roll down blackout shades. So we'll get this up here and you'll be able to see how humongous this window is. I have a huge window there letting in lots of natural light. And then you have the light colored furniture. So although you have the darker woods for your woodwork and everything in here, the furniture is light, your flooring is light, your ceiling is light, your wallpaper is light. And it gives it a nice feel, a nice contrast in here. And feels really quality all the way around. So we start looking at different aspects of this RV. First of all, you have a nice little key ring that the I think the previous owner may have put that in there, or I don't know if that comes standard from Grand Design. But either way, you have that here. You're gonna have storage above the TV, so big storage compartments that do have holes going down to wire stuff to the TV if you need that, and outlets in there. It's gonna be your sound controls in this panel right here. And then another big storage compartment here that, th note this one does not have the wiring going down into the TV. You'll have your TV and fireplace here. This fireplace does put out heat. I actually have it on right now because it's a little chilly in Texas today, which is wild because it was 80 degrees yesterday and I was sweating making a video. And today I have two jackets on. So what a drastic change in 12 hours. <laughs> but you have a big, nice storage drawer here. So lots of stuff that that can be used for. A great place to store DVDs for people that still keep DVDs. But this also is a TCL smart TV. It has Roku already um powered into it so it does have a smart tv that is already on this rv good size pantry that you have in here and then on your island you're going to have a solid surface countertop three pull out drawers here these look like they're deeper pull out drawers um, it almost looks like they could have potentially fit four but they gave you three kind of oversized drawers here instead of four smaller ones and then this is where you're going to be able to see just some of the little tiny things where you see the wear and tear on stuff like that. And then a big storage compartment underneath there. I definitely don't want to like shy away from showing you the wear and tear on here. It is a used RV, so it's not going to be in pristine, perfect condition. 
And I mean, we even get brand new RVs that come in here that are in pristine condition. So it's a used RV. It does have a little slight wear and tear on that. So I'll make sure to point those areas out. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can know exactly what you're looking at. All this countertop space here, and then you're gonna have a nice big drawer there that opens up next to your kitchen. Kind of bummed I left that outdoor kitchen door open so that natural light isn't coming in here. But you do have that window so you'll be able to see out to your campsite, which is pretty neat. And because a lot of times floor plans like this don't have any windows allowing you to see into your campsite. So you will have a nice big window there for that. You're gonna have a big storage compartment here, can fit lots of pots and pans and all that sort of stuff in here. And you have an outlet in there as well. Convection microwave combo. And then you're gonna have a Furion cooktop with the uh, three burner cooktop with the Furion stove. So basically a, um, or Furion oven, I mean, and it's basically a regular size oven that you have in there. Next to that, you have your refrigerator. It's going to be an RV refrigerator. So propane and electric. We are not definitely not level right now. So things are gonna kind of move as they please, but plenty of space in here. Grand Design does a pretty cool job with how they, you know, work this into ah i can't keep it open <laughs> trying my best with this not being level but grand design does a good job of their design elements where you know they give you a refrigerator where it really doesn't even look like a refrigerator if you didn't know what you were looking at and maybe were a first time or stepping into an rv you might not even notice that that's the fridge at first glance and then coming over here you're going to have outlets and usb ports next to this desk so whether this is a coffee bar area or a desk space you have power connections for that there and then tons of storage that is unobstructed all the way through so you'll have those storage compartments up above this desk space then you have three more storage drawers here for however you see fit all these slide really, really well. Sometimes on these used RVs, when they come in, the drawers will get stuck and stuff like that, but these all slide really nice. So glad to see that. And then you'll have your space underneath the desk here. So if you wanted to take this chair out, I mean, some people are like, you need a place for a pet kennel or something like that. I mean, there you go. There's so many different functions for how you can use this space. It's pretty cool. Dinette table, it is a it is a um, not a freestanding table it is screwed into the floor there and then your bench here let's take a look at underneath here and see what storage options we have okay so that flips open like that and you have your storage underneath your bench also nice they gave you more storage compartments over your recliner seating so that'll be unobstructed all the way through there and you'll have the three different storage cabinets that open up turn that light on there recliner seating is going to have heat and massage features it is the thomas Payne collection and you can see you have your heat light and massage features on there as well so lots of comfort you'll have your love seat here that does pull out to a full-size bed so you'll be able to make that into a full-size bed one other point of just showing a little bit of the wear and tear you do have some fraying on the carpet here so that is something going on there. That's something that we usually do not fix since it's just cosmetic and doesn't have any, um, doesn't affect anything on the use of the RV. Um, we do, when we get our used RVs in here, we do check every single major essential function in here, make sure they're working properly and fix them if they're not. But cosmetic things like this, that's usually how they're gonna come. So just wanna make sure to point all those things out to you and just be honest and transparent with y'all. More storage up above your love seat area here. This is some pretty big storage compartments that you have. So you have all this storage there. I like how you have the lights there. It looks really nice shining down onto the woodwork. And then you have this storage compartment here with another outlet. So lots of outlets in, in general in your entire living area. And then you have a mirror here that just gives this a nice homey feel and also makes the space feel a little bit bigger. But I think more than anything, just gives it a nice homey feel. Finally, you're gonna have your controls here for everything on your RV and then another storage compartment. Um, wanna point out a couple other things as well, real quick. Um, first of all, you have a max air fan with the weather, um, the rain sensor is what I meant to say. You have the rain sensor on there, so if it does start raining, it's gonna close on its own and it is a max air fan. 
And then looking at your AC, you do have dual ducting coming out of here. So this is the Coleman Mach AC, which is gonna be about 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system. So good to see that that was even on this 2020 model. And then you have, you can see you have a vent on this side and a vent on this side. That means you have ducting running out of both sides of the AC. So you're getting that added airflow. You might have also noticed looking up at the ceiling that light just turned off it is a motion activated light so as i approach it it does turn on which is pretty neat and pretty nice to have i feel like i've been saying pretty neat too many times in this video so i'm gonna keep that in check but it's pretty cool to have a motion activated light there so if you do get up in the middle of the night you can leave that thing on and it'll turn on for you you also have a motion activated light here by the step as well so lots of things to keep you safe you have a handle here walking up to the steps and then in your bathroom you can have all these storage drawers, your sink with your countertop space and the medicine cabinet, a residential fiberglass one piece shower with a seat. So you'll have that residential style shower with the three pane glass doors that slide across. Medicine cabinet is going to be pretty standard. You're going to have a standard air vent in the bathroom. Another motion activated light, which is pretty convenient if you think about it if you come to the bathroom in the middle of the night you can leave this on and know that you're going to have a light that turns on automatically without you having to find the light switch so that was pretty well thought out really deep storage compartment back in there look at how deep that is that's pretty crazy and then same thing real deep storage compartments here so lots of room to store all your linens and things like that underneath the sink you'll have your storage compartments there and your three drawers that pull out Finally, you do have a, um, what's it called? I was gonna say fiberglass, definitely not fiberglass, a porcelain toilet. So a quality porcelain toilet in here as well. Then you're gonna have AC vents, heat vents, and all of that stuff in here. And you have a skylight in the shower. The ceiling height on this is about 6'5 or so. So that allows you to be about 6'8 and still be able to fit in the shower with the skylight. 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, Coming into the bedroom, this is going to have a, you know, I didn't look at the bed dimensions, but looking at this at first glance, that looks like it'd be a residential queen. Oh gosh, I have a hard time with these bed dimensions sometimes. That almost looks like it could be a king size bed, but I don't think that it is. Um, I'm going to look into that and get that figured out for sure. Okay, so the specs online say that it comes standard with a queen bed, but does have a king bed option. And the mattress dimensions on this is 72 inches by 80 inches. So that's your dimensions on this bed here. And then this little area here, it looks like this just had a sticker on it and the sticker was peeled off and that's all that is there. So nothing to be worried about there. Um, it just feels a little sticky. So I'm guessing not like super sticky or anything, but it just feels like a sticker was there. So I think that's all that is. And then grand design does a phenomenal job with their wardrobes. Um, they look really, really cool. Have a pretty functional space in here. So you have your shelf overhead and then you have this curved design to everything. So it really opens up that space for you to be able to walk in there and have all that floor space in the closet, which is pretty neat. It's definitely a unique thing that Grand Design does. Both of these doors here will close together. So you'll have basically a not a full length mirror there, but a mirror that covers up most of that wall when those are closed to make your space feel even larger. You're gonna have TV hookups here in the corner. So you, whether you mount a TV on the wall here or if you put a TV right there, and you know what, I just realized we're not on the wide angle. Let me get on the wide angle there so you can actually get a better look at what everything that's going on here. In fact, let me show you what the wardrobe looks like with the wide angle lens as well. So that's what your wardrobe looks like. And then you'll have all of these additional storage drawers and cabinets. This is gonna be unobstructed all the way through. So you'll have those three compartments there and then you're gonna have all of your different drawers. These will all be the same size drawers along the top. And then four, oh, hard to open that. Uh, which is good, you don't want those to be easy to open. So you'll have those different storage compartments as well. I'm sure there is storage underneath the bed. So let's look underneath there. Yep, you have storage that is strut assisted. It is framed out as well. So real quality storage that you have in there, a good storage space. Um, quality being that it's all framed out and everything like that. So it looks nice. And then that's just about everything in the bedroom. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So the ceiling height in here 
is about six four six five at its tallest point and then it does slant down towards the wardrobe area so you do have you start to see how it starts to curve down right there since it is a mid profile fifth wheel so just keep that in mind as well you do have your ac in here also so your second ac and it's the coleman mock ac so it'll be a quiet ac system come back out here give one last look that's all I got for y'all. If this is an RV that you're interested in, you can contact me up above and I can get you all the pricing information and stuff like that. No matter where you are in the country, you can buy an RV from us here at Holiday World. We do have a campground on our facilities, so we have people that travel from all over the country to come buy RVs from us here. And our campground allows you to make a trip out of it where you can actually stay in your RV for a day or two before you head back home after you purchased it. So you can use that campground space for free with free electrical and water hookups. So you can test out your RV, get comfortable in it before you take it back home and make a trip out of coming to Dallas. But if you're interested in this, contact me. Let me get you a good deal on it. And then that's pretty much all I got. Until next time, I'll see y'all out camping.